two hours. Two hours of hunting. It's interesting to me how this is so intriguing and how people want to go hunting. I don't get it. I don't. We should have showed up at like 10 o'clock at night, gone to bed, woke up in the morning, and went hunting. Right now, all we're doing is wasting valuable time. I will say that the scoping and the looking for the animals has ceased. The beer drinking is in a full... Uh, that's what they're doing now. That's all they're doing, which is fine. They're laughing. They're having a good time. That's that's pretty good. I, on the other hand, am sitting here in the front of the truck thinking to myself of all the different things I could be doing. Like, I could be home. I could be in the hot tub. I could be cleaning the house. Never mind about that. <laughs> I'm not going to clean the house. But, I, I mean, I, I want to clean the house, but... I might need some help on that. And then I could be talking to friends, checking email, talking to my Tyler. Uh, but the challenge is that we are in a no signal zone. So I can make plenty of videos because I don't have to have Wi-Fi for that. But I will say this. I hope tomorrow's a better thing about hunting because today... Today's been all about looking at deer that won't be there tomorrow, drinking beer, and sitting around and driving through weather. Not sure if that's everyone's experience with hunting, but that's mine. And I wanted to share it with you just in case you might be one of those girls thinking, Hey, I'm going to go hunting with my husband. Well, girlfriend, let me tell you, bring a book. Bring a good book and a long book. You're going to need a long book. 